Hey guys, how you doing? It's Captain here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over um, auditing an account lockout for Active Directory. Obviously, if you know me, sure I know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. So today I want to go over account lockout and how to unlock an account using PowerShell, how to um, look at audits for account lockout using PowerShell. Um, just like I'm going to create a scenario. I'm going to show you what you can do with AD how to check the logs on AD, how to check how he got locked out, what locked him out, who got locked out, et cetera, et cetera. The reason why I'm going, this, I'm going over this specifically, I'm going over this for two things. One is for me because I went in a job interview and they asked me this question. They asked me, if you're working cybersecurity, how do you check lockouts for Active Directory? And what do you got to enable for that to work? And I didn't know how to like. I know you go to. I know you go to the event viewer and you check there, but I didn't know you have to go. There's a bunch of other things you got to do in order to actually enable um, the logs and enable the information. So uh, I want to go over a group policy a little bit, and I want to go over these these command these cool commands that I I because I'm doing. I did some homework and I did some stuff online, some googling here and there, and I want to show you some cool stuff. All right, and hopefully this is inf informative for you. And if you go in a job and you're a system admin, you could do this in your job and. Um, to check the logs and see how they get, because sometimes people get locked out and you don't know what's locking them out. So it, it, this is very good information today. It's going to be fun, all right? Let me share my screen. Um, Give me a second. Screen, share screen, share screen too. All right, cool. So now we're on my, so we're up right now, we're on my server. I have server 2019 running today. On It doesn't really matter what's, because we're just trying to create a scenario. So I already joined the computer to a domain and you know, I, you know, I, I already, did all that good stuff because I don't want to be wasting your time. So in this scenario, I'm going to go and go into tools, go into Active Directory users and computers, right? And what we're going to do today is it's going to be fun, actually. And I'm going to pin it just so I don't have to keep looking for it every single time. First of all, I'm going to unlock Daniel's account. So we're going to do that. We're going to unlock the account, all right? Second of all, if you don't know anything about group policy, we're going to go over group policy a little bit real quick. If you go to details, settings, you go to show all. So in my scenario, you see all the stuff. This information is very important. Uh, I'm going to try to make this a little bit smaller. Let me see if I can grab it and make it a little bit smaller. All right. Let me see here. So you guys could see it. All right. So on in here, you see the group policy. Um, policies are right here, right? So we're gonna go. We're gonna look at some more information. Yeah, window settings right here. And um. And this, this part, the way it's set up for me, so I'll show you the edit. I'm going to show you Windows, Windows security, account lockout policy, account policy is not defined. Account lockout policy is not defined. Um, I just want to go, I want to go to, uh, I want to show you real quick how the policies are defined. Oh, this is the wrong one. Sorry. I'm going to the wrong one. It's actually this one. Um. Okay. So there we go. So the password age is good for 40, 42 days. Uh, password age one day. Uh, minimum password age one day. Uh, I wanted to show you the password lockout. So yeah, so it's it, it locks you out after five after five login attempts. Uh, in order for you to in order for you to set up the log like the log I was mentioning about earlier. Because I was trying to set up the log earlier and and I couldn't get it to work and I figured it out and I did some googling online. You have to go to, I'm talking about the, the event log that gives you the information on how the person got locked out and how they how they were locked out, et cetera, et cetera. You got to go here. So there's this thing called advanced, advanced advanced audit policy configuration. If you don't, if you don't go here, it's not going to work. So you go here, right? And I'm going to stretch it a little bit here. And there's account management. It's not configured. It's not, this isn't it. So it should be under... Should be under here is an advanced 
So you have to go and configure it. So you have to configure the adult user account management. So if I go and I'll show you real quick, give me a second. Give me a second. Because I was just I was just going over this. Give me a second. So this has to be configured, which is called the, the audit user account management. And if you had explained, it tells you this policy allows you to order changes to user accounts, events including a user account is created, changes, deleted, renamed, disabled, en enabled, et cetera, et cetera. So this gives you all the information that it tells you like um, how the user got locked out, when they got locked out, et cetera, et cetera. So now that I show you how to do that, you have to enable this, by the way, on your server. If it's not, you're not gonna be able to get logs. So that was that was the question I was asking a job into like where would where in the group policy do you go to um get logs for a user that gets locked out so you can figure out when they get how they get locked out when they got locked out. So the answer to that question is this is, is this audit user account management. You have to enable that in group policy. Yeah, so today's video is, is sponsored by Gerald from Simply Cyber. Um simplycyber.io. I want you guys to follow Gerald from Simply Cyber. I'm buddies with him. Thank you for um Thank you for sponsoring me for the month of March. I greatly appreciate it. With that being said, let's get back to that video. Are you feeling lost in the vast world of cybersecurity, overwhelmed by technical jargon and confusing career paths? You're not alone. That's why I built Simply Cyber. Hi, I'm Dr. Gerald Ozier. Come join Simply Cyber, your supportive and inclusive community for navigating the exciting world of cyber. There's so much to take advantage of. Master the skills you need with Simply Cyber Academy, offering in-depth courses aligned with the GRC analyst role. Never feel isolated. Connect with fellow cyber enthusiasts and professionals in our thriving Discord server. Ask questions, get feedback, share your journey. Check out the Simply Cyber YouTube channel, delivering insightful interviews. What are your thoughts around, you know, web app pen testing as entry level. And I, I included bug bounty here because that's very accessible to everybody. Practical skill demos and daily cyber threat briefs all hosted by industry experts. There's so much more to discover. Are you ready to join the community and empower your future? Visit simplycyber.io slash socials for all the links and start your cyber adventure today. They use our account management. You have to enable that in group policy. So I didn't know that was the answer. I just said I wouldn't, I would go to event viewer and just search for the the lockout status there, but he said, no, you have to enable this. And like, oh, okay. I didn't know about that. So that's why I'm making a video today on this, if that makes sense. So um, now that we know this, right? What we're going to do is we're going to go to a, a Windows 10 machine, which is this one right here. I have a Windows 10 machine set up for you guys already for today. And then I'm going to do control delete. And then I'm going to try to log in as Daniel. And I'm going to, I'm going to lock it out. I'm going to lock him out. So I'm going to do incorrect password, incorrect password, Incorrect password, incorrect password, incorrect password. So he should be locked out now. He will not be able to log in. The reason why I, I purposely did that is because I want to look at logs and I want to see and gather more information from Daniel because I don't I don't want to just lock his account out. I mean, unlock his account and then, you know, I want to let's figure out what's locking his account. Obviously, it's just a regular computer that locked out his account. So he should be locked out now. Um, it's going to keep circling back and forth like this. So what we do is we'll go back to the server itself and the account's locked out. Okay, cool. He's locked out now. So we're going to minimize this and I'm going to go to Active Directory and just give that a second. Just give Active Directory a second to open. And then we're going to go to Daniel. And then as you can see, the account is locked out, right? And then there are several ways to look out, look for a, a lock information. So if you do Event Viewer, just so you guys understand how this, because I, I had to answer this question and, you know, now now I have more, um, in, more, uh, insightful information about this. So here is user account management credentials, um, user account management, the account right there is Kevin. Uh, the user is Daniel, the desktop the domain controller is kept. It says the user account has been locked out. And it says here's 219 is literally like a minute ago. So this, this, this is the account that got locked out. Now, what are we going to do is sorry about that. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to open a PowerShell. Right, I'm gonna because I have a folder here with PowerShell, uh, and I'm gonna open up this this one specifically, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna go here and we're gonna do um, PowerShell, and we're gonna run it as admin, we're gonna run it as administrator, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna type a couple of different commands, like a couple of cool commands actually. So first one is gonna be 
uh, get domain PC PDC emulator. So this will tell you where the event log is running from. It's running here, obviously. It's running on New York City DC01 com. And then the next one I want to run is get um, AD domain. And then that one's right there. And it tells you more information about my domain controller, com. It gives you my domain SID. It gives you all that good stuff, if that makes sense. So, and then the next command I want to run is search ad account lockout so this is the one that you would put in and um there we go so here is the one that tells you who's locked out uh is it daniel what domain controller is locking them out and his set is unique information and this is daniel daniel got locked out and yeah he's completely locked out he can't do much right now then the next one i want to get is this one so this is get uh win it win event information using powershell so this tells you the user was locked out not once but twice. So the user was locked out on 209 um in 16 seconds. Uh error 4740. It says user account was locked out. Um 219 31 seconds PM, user account was locked out. But I want more information, right? Because that's not enough information for me. Like who who's locked out? This doesn't make any sense, right? So can I get more information per forward? Right. So we're gonna run this one. There's another command that we're going to run. And uh, sorry, it's the wrong one. This one. We're going to run this one. Uh, there we go. We're going to run this one. And then this is going to give me more information. So this one is user account was locked out. The user account is locked out. It's KevTech. KevTech is the domain. User account locked out is Daniel. And it says additional information, caller, computer name, desktop 01. So that's the room was locked out. So this is this is this is all the stuff that you need to figure out what what what's locked out, right? So then I have this other I have this other PowerShell command, which is this one. And we're gonna do select all. I'm gonna copy this one. And then we do paste. And then this tells you more information. Daniel, login type two, user 32, C Windows SAV host.exe, and then Last but not least, um, just give me a second. Just bear with me here. Last but not least, Yeah, so you could you could uh, unlock accounts. You could look at the unlock accounts and figure out, you know, pretty much figure out like what the hell is going on with with that specific account. Because with me, um, sometimes sometimes you have you have accounts that you need to unlock, right? So, um, and and then you want to check the information, right? And then the last the last one that I I forgot to add here is is um, uh, unlock. AD account uh minus identity and then you put Daniel here uh and then you just press enter and then if you go back to Active Directory because I forgot to add this in my notes sorry about that guys uh I just give Active Directory it takes a while to open I gotta add more ranch to this thing uh for some reason it's showing that it's still locked out even though I I ran that command. That's weird. So you could you could always you could always press the up button if you wanna if you wanna go back to your your original command. Like see see how all these commands come up. So you could always go to your up button if you wanna go and look at other commands. So let me let me see what the heck is going on with this thing. It should it should have unlocked the account. I'm not sure why that didn't work. That worked when I when I ran it last time. So sometimes, you know, when you're doing stuff in a lab environment, sometimes things are a little buggy. Um, that's just my experience. Um, so we'll try this again. And then we'll check Daniel again. Yeah, it's still not locking his account. That is so bizarre. Huh. Oh, so I typed it wrong. That's why. Look at this. Look at this. I put two quotation marks over here. 
I'm not sure why. Can't even I can't even type today, man. <laughs> All right, so see, even I, even I make mistakes sometimes. See, so let's see here. Can I find Daniel? I typed it wrong. So let's go back to this again. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, it's unlocked right now. All right, cool. So just wanted to show you that. And then one last thing, though, not least that I I uh, I found, which is kind of cool, um, that I didn't even know existed. That I, I was watching yesterday uh, uh, a YouTube video. Um, this thing called AD Pro Toolkit. So I'm gonna open this up and show you. Just I'm gonna show you a little bit of it, and then I'm gonna let you go after that. So I don't wanna make this video too long. So this allows you to import users. This allows you to delete users. Um, so you can invoke user accounts here. You can create your own template for um, creating user accounts. So like if you hit download and you save it. Um, it's here now. So here you can create a bunch of user accounts if you want. I'm not, I'm not going to show you today, but I'll probably make a video on it. We'll see. Uh, group management, uh, security tools, other tools, uh, account status. So I get right here, if I run this, it runs it on my whole domain controller. It doesn't see anything right now. So uh, bad password attempts. So I'll we'll probably run this one. So yeah, bad password attempts is Daniel. So that was today at 2.19 p.m. It gives you that information, which is kind of cool. Um, you can run other stuff here as well. Uh, you can run log reports too. Uh, user last logged in, user lo users login hours, users last login date, users users who logged into all computers. User, so go to this one and run that one. So these are logged in, last logged in. Um, users who logged into old computers, the last logged in date. You're on this one. Give you more information. Never logged in. Never logged in. Administrator logged in. Yeah. So this is a this is a cool application. It's free, by the way. I I was using it. It then it says on the bottom only ten records are shown. This is a trial version, but this is a cool cool pretty neat app actually. I like this app. So. I was just playing around with this last night before I went to bed. Like, I was just nerding out with this app, but it's kind of cool. And you don't got to pay anything. It's absolutely free. But um, yeah, that's all I wanted to show you today. So I wanted to show you, I'm going to stop sharing. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show I wanted to show you about PowerShell a little bit, um, how to check logs, how to unlock the account using PowerShell, um, cr creating an actual real life scenario, locking the account, and then showing you where those logs are because uh, when, like I said, when I went for a job interview, they asked me these questions. You need to know this if you go for a job because they ask cybersecurity. You need to know about audits. You need to know about logs. You need to know what, how the person got locked out, when they got locked down, stuff like that. If this was helpful, please let me know. Please write comments, subscribe, like I said earlier. Um, please follow me. Please share this. If it was insightful, I greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Peace. Bye.